Are you tired of manually doing every task for your business? It could be writing a content for your blog or it could be writing social media posts such as creating a tweet or it also could be creating a Google Sheet file and then adding data to it. So if you are tired of manually doing each and every task for your business and if you want to save some time, if you want to get rid of all this manual labor, I have just the right tool today for you. So hello guys, welcome back to SAS LTD Deals. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon so that you never miss any of our uploads. I am back with another review and today I am going to review active pieces. Before I jump into the review, one thing I'd like to note is that if you are interested in SAS Lifetime Deals and a community where you can discuss these deals, you can join SAS Lifetime Deal Discussion Group on Facebook. On that group, you are going to get various giveaways also, such as this one. So if you are interested, make sure you check the link in the description below. Back to the review, I was talking about Active Pieces. Active Pieces is a tool that is going to automate your business processes and it can even automate content writing. And the best part is this is a no code tool, which means you do not have to know any coding to make use of this tool. And if you want to buy Active Pieces, this is the best time because it is available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. So the regular price is $300, but at AppSumo you are getting 80% off, which means the price is only $59. And this is a one time single payment. Active Pieces is an alternative to IFTTT, Make, and Zapier. Now let's have a look at all the features that you are going to get with this deal. So as you can see you are going to get all the 107 pieces so this piece means integration active pieces has 107 integrations option and you are also going to get access to the future pieces which means the future integrations you will also get the open source connectors you can write code if you want and there are also instead and schedule triggers and here are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. The tier 1 costs $59 and here you can have 20 connections. If you want more connections, you can choose the tier 2 or tier 3. Both of these tiers have unlimited connections. So if you want to buy the lifetime deal of active pieces, make sure you check the link in the description below of this video. Currently we are in the integration page of active pieces. So on here you can see all of the integration options available. So let's see them. So as you can see, there are over 100 integration options available currently on active pieces. But if you want more integration option or if you want a specific one, you can also request that. For that, you simply have to go to the top of the page and then you have to click on this page. So after you click on that link, you will get redirected to this page and then you can request your piece or your integration on this box by providing a title and then description. And then you have to click on post to request your piece or integration. As you can see here are some of the integration options that are currently being requested. And you can also see some of the integration options that are upcoming or in progress. So these are the upcoming or in progress integrations. After you log in to active pieces you will get this dashboard. And on these flows you can see all of your automations or flows. You can also create a folder and then organize your automations on specific folders. You can also see all of your runs and you can also see the connections on here. As you can see, I currently have two connections and you can also add your team members if you want. So let's go to these flows and then let's try to create an automation for that click on this new flow. So after you click on new flow, you will get this template page where you can see a lot of pre-made templates or pre-made automations. So as you can see using this automation, you can automate blog writing with AI, with Google Sheet, OpenAI, WordPress and Gmail. So there are various templates. You can also use these templates if you want. You can also choose a specific tab to see if there are any templates for that app. And then you can also filter by category to see your specific templates and if you do not want to use any template you simply have to click on start from scratch so as you can see now we are in a blank page or this is a blank automation now you have to add your elements so the first thing you want to do is select your trigger so click on this and then you can choose the trigger from any of these apps you can also choose your trigger by going to core 
So if you go to this code, you will get two options. One is you can schedule your automation or you can also use the webhook. So let's schedule. And after you click on schedule, you have to choose the trigger time. So it could be every hour, every day. So if you select every hour, the trigger is going to get triggered every hour and then complete all the steps that you provide on here. So let's select every hour. And then you can also enable this option if you want your trigger to run on weekends such as Saturday and Sunday. So now let's close this and then you can obviously add more steps. So if you click on this plus icon, you can now add the second step. For example, every time I add a Google task, I want that task to appear on a Google sheet. So for that, I want to create an automation. So let's first select this Google task. So as you can see now, I have selected this app and then you have to choose this action. So when the trigger happens, what should it look for? So that action is going to be mentioned on here. For example, I want the trigger to notify me about adding task on Google, which means every time I add a task, I want the trigger to scan for that every hour. And if there is a new task, I want that task to be on a Google Sheet file. So let's click on add task. Then you have to authenticate your account for that click on here and then click on Google Task. So my account is already connected, but the connection process is very easy. So all you have to do is click on connect and then all of your Google accounts are going to appear. So you can choose the account and then connect that account. Make sure the account is connected to your Google Tasks where you want to add those tasks. And then you have to choose the task list. So all of the task list from your Google account are going to appear. And then you can also choose the title. And if you want, you can add more input such as you can add notes or you can also add this completed. And then now comes the part for Google Sheet, right? So let's click on this plus icon and now let's search for Google Sheet. So here is our app. So as you can see, now I have connected this. Now, once again, I want to select the action. So every time someone or me adds a task on Google Task account, I want to have a new row on my Google Sheet. So click on this insert row and then once again you have to add your Google Sheet account, authenticate your account and the process is similar to previous one. So let me add the account and once you add your account, connect your account, you also have to select this page sheet or the Google Sheet. For example, this is the Google Sheet for AP. This is the Google Sheet that I have on my Google account. So make sure you already have a new blank spreadsheet or Google Sheet on your account that you can use for this automation and then you also have to choose the sheet number so sheet one and then you can also include team drive sheet if you want if the first row are headers you can also enable this option then you can add various values so for values you have these options you can also add more values by clicking on this so as you can see there are now multiple values and you can obviously add more input if you want as string so this way you can create your automation and once you create your automation, you can also test all of your steps. So if you click on this test step, it is going to test only this step and you can also test other steps. For example, if you go to this and if you click on this text step, you can also test this step. So this way you can test each and every step of your automation to make sure your automation is working correctly. And once your automation is all set, you can drop this automation or you can also publish this automation. And before publishing, you need to understand that once you publish your automation, it is going to start the process, which means every hour it is going to scan for new tasks on the Google account that I selected. And if there is any new task, it is going to send that task on the Google Sheet new row. So now let's go back. And as you can see on here, as you can see, I have 100 task limit and currently I am running zero task. So if you publish any task, as you can see, both of my tasks are not published. So if I publish any task, they are going to appear on here. So there is already one task on this dashboard, which is this demo, the Gelato factory. Let's open this one. And as you can see, it is supposed to run every one minute. It is going to invent a Gelato. So if I open this, as you can see, the action is it is going to send HTTP request and the method is get and the URL is this one. These are the headers, the query parameters and obviously the optional inputs. So where it is going to send that request, it is going to send that to this email. So let's connect our email, click on add and then I simply have to connect my Gmail account. 
so as you can see now my account is connected let's save this now i have to provide my email the receiver email which means where this gelato is going to arrive so let's paste my email so here is my email and here is the subject here is the body of the email so now let's publish this task which means i'm going to start this automation so the automation is now published let's go back and as you can see it is currently running so after every one minute it is going to send me a gelato on my email so here we go as you can see one gelato named mint chocolate mirage has arrived on my email and here is the email as you can see so if you leave this status unable it is going to run the automation for as long as it is turned on so if you want to stop your automation you have to stop it by disabling this Overall, I think Active Pieces is an excellent automation tool. It is going to automate your business processes. It can also automate a lot of tasks because there are over 100 apps that you can use to integrate with Active Pieces. A lot of useful applications are on the list. So the apps and software that you use on a regular basis are super likely to be on the list. So if you want to buy Active Pieces on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. These are the features that you are going to get with this deal. And these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. So that's it for our today's video. I hope you have found the video to be helpful. If you do, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.